Strong Creek in East Hope is living up to its name. Torrential. I mean, it's, it's phenomenal to see the flow of water coming down the creek. You can hear the rocks bouncing along the bottom of the creek. It's almost like thunder when it's really going. It's putting on an amazing show. Ron C. takes a look every couple hours. That's entertaining. <laughs> That's part of living out in the hills. Sometime Sunday, however, the creek was so powerful, it destroyed a dam upstream used to divert water into the town's only water system. It's major. You know, that's the lifeline to the city. You know, that's, that's what keeps everybody knowing it's an essential part of each and every home. For a quick fix, the town is using temporary pipes to divert water from a smaller stream nearby, cutting the town's water supply nearly in half. Paul Madden, the mayor of East Hope, is now asking all 200 neighbors to ration their water until the dam is rebuilt. Well, at this point, you know, don't water the lawn, don't wash the car. Um, just, you know, be careful with usage as much as possible. It's not a dire emergency, but, you know, we'd like people to cut back. Y you do what you got to do. C is already feeling the impact. We take shorter showers. Just reminds me of when I was in the Navy. We take a Navy shower, you know. <laughs> Just soap down, wash off, and get out. You know. To keep this creek moving, crews are doing everything they can to keep it from backing up against the railroad bridge here behind me. You can see all the boulders and the rock and the sand they've pulled out just in the past few days. Bonner County declared a state of emergency to make way for outside help. The focus now is to repair the main water line exposed from erosion. We're a small city of 200 people, so we're not that well off. We're going to need some outside funding sources to help rebuild the dam and realistically we don't see it being done until midsummer. C says they'll make it work. You live up in the mountains. <laughs> live up in the mountains, you survive all this stuff. In East Hope, Annie Bishop, KXLY4. If you have any questions about the water situation in East Hope, there'll be a town hall meeting tomorrow evening at six at the East Hope Community Center.